Hey, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we got the new Diamond Demontis Sabonis Moments Reward Cards. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button as well as comment what you guys think of this Demontis Sabonis and any of the gameplays you guys want to see from the Moments cards that dropped today. Took me a little bit to get this Sabonis because. Yeah, there's some things going on with them, but I'll show you guys after we check out his stats, his badges, and all that sort of stuff, how you can go ahead and pick him up for free. This is a free diamond card. You literally don't have to do anything really to get him other than a few challenges. So what's cool about Sabonis is he is 6'11", which is going to be a nice size for a power forward and a center, really. Going to be pretty nice. And you can see he's kind of offensive weighted, like really offensive weighted. But the post game goes crazy on Sabonis, has a nice driving layup, a great 90 mid-range, and 87.3. So with the coach boost um, that we... Are gonna have all on him and floor general that will be a 90 rating which is beautiful the dunking goes crazy 90 standing 80 driving dunk is great has a good free throw as well the playmaking pretty solid and if you do um put a shoe on him i think as well as hall of fame floor general you could theoretically get sabonis to speed boost but i mean why do you need Sabonis to speed boost if we're being honest? He doesn't have the greatest dribbling move, so there's no really reason to do it. But here's where the big kind of, I guess, L comes in. Uh, not the greatest of defense, but I think an 84 interior is going to be definitely good enough, um, especially with the fact that he does have some nice badges for it. Um, great speed as well for guys who can be playing in the center, and 10 Hall of Fame badges, and you can see some of the better ones to have if we're being honest i mean catch and shoot you love to see it um corner specialist drop stepper heat seeker is great too dimer on our center i love to see bailout set shooter bullet passer also 31 gold including difficult shots post spin lob city interceptor you can see here intimidator and rebound chaser as well as worm exactly what i was saying i don't think it'll be too big of a deal in the paint he's got some good ones there and circus threes and deep threes so not only can Sabonis play a bit of defense in the paint kill it inside especially in the post play make like a god but he also has deep threes to shoot from insane distances and then downhill quick first step and sniper to make him just an absolute beast so loki sabonis is amazing now the one thing that's going to hurt him is definitely animations that's why sabonis was one of the worst opals in 2k20 but i do think this diamond definitely has some potential and it's going to be cool because i mean he's a free card uh, and obviously it's not the lineup we're running it's just a challenge one um that we got right now because we were doing challenges but if you guys want to get this sabonis card for yourself you can come over here into the um season's agenda and go to moments of the night 127 and you can see the reward is Sabonis. You have to make seven three-pointers in a single game with a player, as well as 47 points in a single game. If you're smart, stack those together, you'll be good. Play two unlimited games, not win, just play. Win three triple threat online games and seven triple threat offline games. The harder one was three triple threat online games just because everybody's sweating to get the new card, Jack Marin, Marin, one of the two in there in triple threat online so it's a little bit sweaty so be careful you're gonna have to bring your best lineup and then to win the triple threat games but other than that it's really great um now without further ado let's hop into the freestyle check out Sabonis, and really see what he's got going on as far as animations go all right so here we go with Domus Sabonis, and you can see the uh, hot zones on my guy are looking gorgeous now the one thing that's gonna hurt is Sabonis does have jump shot 10 it's the same jumper as penny hardaway so if you like pink diamond penny hardaway you're one of the few people um that really like it i think you'll like this jumper you can see it's definitely in that like medium speed kind of spectrum for jump shots which honestly i don't think is too bad it's pretty easy to time with that hole of him catch and shoot we can probably get it great and i think when we're shooting around in here it's only an 87 three-point shot so your rating will actually go up with floor general once we're actually using him in game which will make the speed of this increase just a little bit as well which i think is nice plus we got deep threes, so we can chuck it out from there if we really want to. Um, also, we have the difficult shots, so theoretically, we can smack out some off dribbles with some bonus if we really wanted to. Um, especially from mid-range, they're going to be crazy because obviously, um, difficult shots give you that massive boost off dribble and midi. You can see it's like almost no change. So... Sabonis, demon in the paint, looks like. Um, now, again, Sabonis does have some really nice post animations. You can see right there, the fadeaway. We get a beautiful amount of space. Really a solid post fadeaway. So if you're uh, good in the post, the Sabonis is going to feel great. Um, also, has a good post hook and drop step, which is going to be um, fun to use and abuse as well. So really solid card. Um, and now I'll show you guys why I was saying you really don't want to do anything crazy when it comes to making your Sabonis speed boost. Because if we're being honest he doesn't have great dribbling animations i mean the behind the back is it's kind of terrible um we'll get full force here and boom you can see it completely kills the momentum so we're not gonna be behind the back cheesing um our crossover and our behind the backs are just they're not good they're really 
not great. Um, you can't really between the legs tween either. So for the most part, you don't need to be with Jamonte Sabonis. If you're going to add any sort of shoe on him, uh, probably a defensive shoe or a three-point shoe will probably work the best for him overall. Just as a tip for anybody that does have those and wants to chuck them on, those will probably be uh, more bang for your buck on your Sabonis card. So um, let's try to get one more off dribble green if we can. Ooh, that was, that was nearly there. I think we can do it. Oh, we're nearly there. Almost got it. If we have to, we can take it to the midi. We'll try one more um, from the three-point line off dribble here. Um, all right, you know what? I lied. We'll take one more off dribble here. Okay, it's not going to be happening. So we'll step in to the uh, mid-range. And there we go. Let's hop right into the gameplay. All right, here we are with Sabonis going against Diamond Brook Lopez. An interesting one to face. Because, you know, obviously, Brooks one of the best shooters, but there we go. DeMontes is winning that. We'll set it up to a quick little freelance um, just to space the floor a little bit. And now let's call the uh, pick and fade right here with it. He's got Pink Diamond Ben Simmons as well, but there is a open sub bonus for a green light. Three points right there. Pink Diamond Ben is going to be difficult to guard um, with Curry, so we might have to switch weight on there. It's going to be fun and interesting to see how we can uh, play this one. Because you can see, he can kind of just drive in and do nothing with Ben Simmons. That's how good the card is. So it's going to be tough to try to beat this uh, five out Ben Simmons cheese with just a uh, a Diamond DeMontis Sabonis. But we'll see how it goes. We got the run in, a kick out again, and he's guarding it with Brooke Lopez, who doesn't have anything too crazy. Now some off ball. Here we go. So bonus side step it, and there's the layup. Five points right there. We should be able to cook Brooke Lopez. But again, the problem is just going to be guarding the Simmons. Oh, there we go. Winner the tip right there with Dwayne Wade. We got Batum running down. He's expecting the pass to Sabonis. So there it goes. But after he thought, and there's the dunk for Sabonis. Seven quick points right there for him. He's feeling pretty nice. A little slow, I will say, with the ball. But that's to be expected. And again, we just have to shut down Simmons. And I think we'll be pretty set. There we go. Wade with the stop and the rebound himself. Sabonis so is out here running. He's leaving Curry of all cards wide open. Now, J.R. Smith's on us to the paint. Ooh. It's a bonus with the dunk right over him. Nine points right now. And surprisingly, not a single rebound. Oh, there we go. It's a bonus with the block on the Ben Simmons looking beautiful for us. We're out here trailing it. We can spray it from that deep with some bonus. There's the green light. 19 points. Glasgow there tank over is activated. And he must have forgot that my guy's got that gold deep threes. He literally just drives the straight line through the paint every time. There's a three-point lead right now and full court press with Brooke Lopez of all cards. Doesn't make sense to me. There we go. Catch it. Drive right by and a dunk right there. Not getting lucky on his chase down block. 14-1 and one for our guy Sabonis. Looking good. Stop the J.R. Smith right at the end of the quarter. Or actually Brooke Lopez doesn't make it. There we go. Only down one going into the second. And again, Algo's been on his side. So I'm not worried. Oh, there we go. We have Curry with the board. Sabonis is out there running wide open. That's another green. 17 points for him there. And as long as we stop this Simmons straight line drive, or just the straight line drives in general, it's pretty easy buckets on the other side. I mean, you can see it. He tries to go right there. Every single time going into the paint, we completely shut that down, stopped him from going. But because he still chucked it up, he still got a bucket. Annoying, but only so much you can do. Back to Sabonis, probably going to run at us with Lopez. There we go, inside. Shouldn't stop us. And one finish for Sabonis. 19 points here. A chance at the free throw line to test out the free throw for this old-fashioned three-point play. Ooh, there it is, though. 80 points, or 80% goes in. 20 points for Sabonis. It's looking good, and now he's going to switch up some defensive settings to try to stop our guy. Wade's out running. He's trying to full-court press on Curry, but... I mean, we can always switch up who's passing it. Call the pick and pop again. He's leaving. It looks like Reddish now open in the corner. There's the green. We'll mix it up. Try to give some buckets to some other peoples. But obviously, the main person we're looking for here is Sabonis. There we go. We got our second board ever on DeMontis Sabonis. Let's keep it running down. We have an open Reddish in the corner there off the Sabonis assist. I forgot he had the Hall of Fame Dimer. But we might have to use him basically as like PG Sabonis from now on. All right, after getting the charge on that Ben Simmons, we're going to run it back down. He's got the lock takeover on him, but not playing any defense. We could have had the kick out sooner, but you know what? It is what it is. You can see he's kind of scrambling, trying to guard anybody out here. And there's an open Batum and then an open Curry in the corner. As long as we mix it around with how he's playing this zone, we'll be able to kill it real easy. Pretty good game, though, for Simona so far. There we go. He's starting to miss some of his whites. Let's give it to PG Sabonis running down to court. Wait for him to jump up with some of these guys. 
which actually doesn't surprising so now we can kind of just wait it out and now have a beautiful mismatch and a paint on cam reddish and oh my god we're missing that one give me the board back up and that one's going to be going in cam reddish just can't guard Sabonis in the paint 31 and 4 you love to see it man still full court pressing without a single steal to his name but it is what it is and actually still running the 2-3 zone despite again not really getting anything with it there's an open batoon but he just walks way too far down yeah i mean i I don't really know what he's planning with this, but you can see we have so many players that are just getting open. There's Curry in the corner with all of Aim Diamond. That's agreed. Second assist for Sabonis. The 2-3 zone just does not work with a guy that has Hall of Fame Diamond at the center. Throw it up to Curry quick and then two so bonus to try to make this mismatch and another steal on his cam reddit. He still hasn't stopped the uh, spin in the paint threes, but here we go. Passing it right into an open green bean for Steph Curry. Has nine points there and we'll watch it right here. I can almost guarantee he runs down, takes a spin layup with Ben Simmons if it works and then just throws it back out to somebody if he can't get it. Almost had the steal, but running it down. Let's see if we get the spin with cam reddish. Nope, just a straight line drive with reddish, but still it's left, right, left, right, left, right. Hope for a dunk every time. Back to Sabonis. Let's keep up our PG center qualities going. And we have some weird offense right now. He has his Brook Lopez playing out in the 2-3 zone. Let's give it to Reddish. Ooh, nearly a green. And still not a single white to our name right now in the second half. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Simmons. Hey, he didn't take the spin for one time. I'm actually kind of proud of him for mixing up his offense just a little bit. But let's chuck it up to DeMontis Sabonis quick. There we go on the break in the dunk. 33 points and four rebounds. He's just not ready for that quick offense. But, ooh, mixing it up. Now it's to J.R. Smith. Probably hoping for a three as long as we step it up. And then back to Ben Simmons. Probably a spin layup if he can get the opportunity. All right, Curry's got it again. Still can't get a steal with his Ben Simmons. He tips the ball, but full court press is kind of pointless, especially when he's spamming square. I mean, this is the defense that we've been going against all game. It's just hope to get a steal. Didn't mean to throw that pass up. We can see Dwayne Wade wide open. It still is, so we'll get it to him. Then to him in the corner. That's a green at the buzzer, almost, for the four-point lead right there. Sabonis so still playing great, but again, we just have to hope that his Ben Simmons straight line drive and pray for a make eventually starts failing still full court pressing so we'll still give it to demontis a bonus let our point center kind of just run it down and play the movement off balling is still with it we haven't switched to on ball off ball ourselves, but we could there's an open steph curry he's still playing some weird off ball with it and now complete off ball on the pick and pop there it is demontis a bonus is wide open oh we missed on it very bad but there we go green light Almost, I guess, if it falls and it goes in. And here we go. Guarding the J.R. Smith. Trying to just barrel down to the paint. There it is again. Guarding the corner three. He still hasn't creamed a single shot all game. But is what it is. We got right here with Sabonis. Into the corner. Two, but two. The green light off the half dimer is gorgeous. 38-7-5 for our guy Sabonis. It's just beautiful. Let's get our guys back to position. You can see it. He gives it to Ben Simmons and he runs into the paint every time like that is all he does on every single possession it's kind of funny here we go Sabonis open again in the green bean 41 points and now let's try to stop this Ben Simmons there we go Sabonis ninth rebound of the game we're hunting for that 50 and 10 right here he's got J.R. Smith on us again and you can see spamming square every opportunity he can when we get in Sabonis hands a little bit annoying but is what it is. We'll come it out. Fake out with Sabonis. Boom. We get it right into Curry. And now let's have our guy run in front of the pick and pop. Because with the off ball, should work great. Or just a open three-pointer from the two in the corner. There we go. Terrible defense on him right there. And now we got a 12-point lead. Batum, ooh, stealing that one from our guy Sabonis. Let's get it up again. Keep the run in on a wide open three. Why not for the green 44 points? Nine rebounds, five assists. One of the better offensive I guess well-rounded centers we've had um, in the game. Ooh, off dribble corner threes with Simmons. Not the way to get the buckets out here. Back to Sabonis. Back in the running. Back with wide open green bean threes. 47 points. Glass cleaner takeover is activated. Hopefully, we can get this last board and make it a double-double. All right, let's get it back to Sabonis. Try to keep running it up. We are one three-pointer away from the 50. Looks like we're going to be open. And there's the green for it. 50 points, nine rebounds, five assists. On to bonus there. We're going to run down because we want to get this last board. If we can, there it is. And boom, double-double right there with Sabonis. Let's try to get one last ruckus. Three-point shot chucked up. Not going to be falling, but honestly. 
So here's what the end score looked like. 50 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, and 3 turnovers for Savonis, which honestly I feel like is a pretty solid game. 8 to 13 from 3. You can see the 3 point shot is up to an 89 right now. Um, I think that's just because, you know, stamina, stuff like that, knocking it down a bit because obviously there's nothing in the game that gives him only 2 points boost. But really good all-around center. And I think if you like somebody, you know, that can play the big man that still can, you know, kick it out with that Hall of Fame Dimer and help you out with a lot of threes, I think it's super solid to run the Sabonis card um, in general. And honestly, the three-point shot is nice with the D3s, everything on there. I love the post game. I love the defense. I love everything about him. And again, He's free. So I feel like that's why I have such a high opinion on Let me know what you guys think about the Onsus Sabonis down in the comment section below. Again, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that right of 10k subscribers. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next video.